come through special exception, and those hearings will be notification whenever anybody applies. There will be a hearing before planning and zoning, and then our recommendations to the board, and there will be hearings before the board before anything else does get passed. And the way we set it up is so that we can, if these people are not up to snuff, and we don't think they're going to run a reliable, lawful range, then we're not going to allow them to have it. Uh, and that's why we've written the ordinance like we have. And that's, this, this here is just an ordinance. It is not for any property or any range or anything. Then why did Mr. Cherry's office, uh, that's the first thing they said to me early this morning. And I followed it up and it seemed like, it, you know, that's what it was all about. I'm not sure what information was given this morning. Uh, you, were, you were gone. I was talking to Carol then. It's just like Mr. Prim said, this is an ordinance. It doesn't approve or disprove anything. There's another step in the process. And Mr. Couch, that's what I alluded to this afternoon when you called me, that this is just the first step. This doesn't approve anything. I told you there was a special exception we'd have to go to next. Yeah, well, I understand okay. about the, the ordinance. Yes, ma'am. We tried to and explain that this just amends the land development code. So that's, that's all we're doing right now is making an amendment to our land development code. Well, you have to have something in mind or you wouldn't even think about changing it. <laughs> but, 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 but at this point of time, there, this is all we're doing. When, when we have the, when we, um, have the advertisements for the special, if somebody comes in to apply for a special exception, then we'll deal with all that. But this just creates an avenue where somebody could come in and apply for a special exception. Well, we already have one gun range, and, and I think that it, it ought to be just opened up and forget about the special exception. Okay, anyone else? Mr. Chairman, one thing, um, while you're still in public comment, or people could comment below, if I could, I have a couple of things I need to bring to your attention on the, the revisions, if, if uh, the board is considering them. I think the, the original uh, idea was on, and now I'm talking on page two uh, of the revision, <coughs> there, there's some, we can do what's in here, but I think we've got to arrange it maybe a little bit differently. If you look at uh, paragraph three, it says section 4.4 B2G of the LD of the Land Development Code is amended, and then we're going to add special exception uses to A1, A2, and industrial. 4.4 uh, B2G is A2. So what we would have to do is we and we can do it if y'all want to do it. It's not a problem. But we have to rearrange it a little bit where we say that 4.4 B2G uh, is amended to add this. The one for A, for Ag 1 is amended to add it, which is 4.4 B2, uh, 4.1 A to G, and then uh, J, which is industrial. All of those have to be amended. You see what I'm saying? So it's, we can certainly do it if y'all want to do it that way, but it's going to look a little bit different because this, this uh, uh, litany of things have to be added to each of those uh, land use designations. The two other things I would uh, do is you can't, See, they, those have to be added separately to those three land use designations. So subparagraph A probably needs to come out because in subparagraph A, it's saying you're adding it to A1, A2, and industrial. Well, you can't do it that way. You've got to go to A1, add it to A1, go to A2, add it to A2, et cetera. It's not a, not a substantive change, but a, a change in setting it up. Uh, I do think on the H, you would need a substantive change H is the provision that says that it, it seeks to impose a requirement that property sold within two miles of the range. Uh, the seller must disclose the existence of the range to prospective buyers. I think that's beyond the county's authority for a land development code to place substantive requirements on a real estate transaction. So I, I don't think you can do H. I think, I'm not saying it's not a good idea for people to do that, but I don't think through land development code you can, you can require that. So I think if, if you wanted to do these uh, these changes that the um, that the uh, zoning board has, has uh, done, I think I would strike H and strike A. I don't think that's 
H is a substantive change, A would not be a substantive change. And then that paragraph 10 and the special exception uses need to be added separately to A1 and industrial. So if y'all want to, to do it that way. And the reason I brought that up during public comment is now if somebody wanted to comment on, on that, they'd be able to when you get it. Okay, any other public comment? Uh, again, we know if this will be an economic benefit to Madison County or will the property values dropping outweigh that. Also, there's already a uh, uh, joint training facility, Camp Landing, over in Stark, Florida. 73,000 acres. <coughs> so it's seven days a week, with hours of operation, or something to fill up in for the It's primarily used for National Guard and ROTC training. So, that's you to consider everything before we vote on this. You know, there will be other hearings after this. Or we could just nip it in the blood and be done with it today. Thank you. Okay, any other comments? <coughs> Hearing none, then we'll come back to the board. What's the uh, board's pleasure? Mr. Chairman, uh, well, we got a recommendation from our P and Z board, but I'm, I'm a little hung up on those suggestions that Tommy had had made. Uh, if I'm understanding you correctly, we need to break out A1, A2, and industrial. The, the, the original ordinance sought to add the uh, possibility of having a tactical training facility by special exception. The original ord ordinance sought to add that just to the A2 land use designation. Okay. What came back from the zoning board, which is in this multicolored uh, document, said not only the A2, but to make that a special exception option in A1 and industrial. Okay. So, and, and y'all can do it any way you want to, but if you do decide you want to add it to A1 and to industrial, we need to add the tactical training facility special exception use to those separate provisions in the LDRs in the land development code. Because you see at the top of section 3, 4.4 B2G, that's just A2. You can't just stick the word A1 in there. You've got to add the special exception to 4.4 A2G, which deals with A1, mm -hmm. and then to 4.4 J, which deals with industrial. You've got to add those separately. Not a substantive change, but I'm saying how it's set out in the land development code would need to be a little different than what's set here. And then the two within the, the, the factors listed under the tactical training facility, again, not a substantive change, but that provision A needs to come out because that's saying it's listed in the, the separate land use districts, which is not really appropriate. You just got to list it separately in each of them. You don't, for that one place, say that. And then H, I'm recommending come out because that's imposing a requirement on real estate transactions within two miles of the range. I don't believe you can do that under your land development code. Again, I'm not saying it's not a good idea. I just don't think the board has the ability to impose that through land development. To add this to uh, going to an industrial that would need to go back through the planning and zoning again no. or just it they, be included in and come back? Planning and zoning has told you they have recommended you do add okay. to add one into a industrial. I'm just saying if, if you all make the policy decision you do want to add it to add one in industrial, we need to set it up a little bit differently than it's set up here. We can substantively do it, but it's just it's going to look a little differently than you've got it here. And I think y'all can instruct us to do that today if you want and approve the ordinance. But it, it, it just will need to be added separately to those different provisions. Does, does that make sense? Uh, yes, and I think we need to go ahead and do that. Right. So, thank you. What is your motion? To uh, follow the attorney's recommendation and break down Ag 1 and Industrial. 
And then the other part of my recommendation was strike A and H. From under the Rams 10 technical training facility. Yes, sir. Okay. Approve it with those with those changes. recommended changes, right? Yeah. Second, have a second. <laughs> Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion say aye. 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 None opposed. Again, Mr. Prim, thank you. And if you would, uh, thank all the payments only members and y'all meet again for all your work. Yes. Uh, 